new funny story called Crazy Glue, the Kangaroo, Part Three, the conclusion. Here's the official cover. At the top, you see the kangaroo, supposed to be a cyborg version. Then there's a skeleton to the side of him. A part of the Outback picture, the wilderness at the bottom. Just being creative. Um, glory to God for the creativity. Okay. Okay, this is part three. The, the conclusion. The cyborg creature hops into the kitchen. It hops in the kitchen. Marco is hiding, but he's able to see everything through the eyes of the six foot tall animal toy. There's a mini screen on the device in Marco's hand that shows where the kangaroo is and what it's looking at. So it's like a remote control. You know, when you have a remote control car or maybe like a drone that you're operating. And you might see a little screen that shows you where they're going. Same thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Oliver hears weird sounds getting closer to him. Something like that. Mechanical-like sounds. Oliver hears weird sounds getting closer to him and Kylie. So the wicked stepdad stops having sex with his beautiful wife and Oliver puts on his underwear. <sighs> the kangaroo pops out of nowhere. It stares at Oliver. Who laughs and says, Marco, come here and get your stupid robot pet out of my way or I will break it, he yells. Oliver grabs the broom and hits the bionic kangaroo. Marco wants to see how tough his toy is, so he lets his kangaroo get beat up on purpose. Hmm. Marco presses a few buttons that makes the kangaroo bounce like a little rider. It jumps and hits Oliver in the face with a powerful punch and right kick attack. Oliver gets hurt and falls down. Marco runs towards his mom and helps her get dressed and make sure she is okay. Kylie thanks God for her son, but Oliver tries to get up and get them both by surprise. He is injured. He takes out a gun from his pocket and aims it at them and tells them to give up or they will die. But for some reason, it makes the cyborg kangaroo alert. Like, it gets the kangaroo's attention. And then has flashbacks when the military killed it with a gun and the outback, the wilderness, a long time ago. The cyborg kangaroo finally moves on its own. Oliver realizes now that Marco is not controlling the toy. Oliver is freaking out. <gasps> What's going on? He fires bullets at the kangaroo. <laughs> But the toy keeps going and shoots out crazy glue at Oliver and it gets all over him. Yeah. But cool. That's just show that bad guy. Hey, teach him a lesson. He is able to run away, but the chemical makes him stick to things. The kangaroo uses its long tail like a rocket launcher. And a little missile goes through the house and flies outside, blowing up the car that Oliver is trying to steal. The kangaroo is in war mode and with lots of firepower. 
It unleashes weapons that no one knew it had. Somebody called the cops and they arrive and arrest Oliver. Good. The next day is a big birthday celebration. Marco and his girlfriend Lucy hang out and eat cake together and their friends come over. The end. Hope y'all like the story. Glory to God. Good night.